I'm just in the mood for a refresh and just ah. sofa for downstairs. I love, love, love my antique Duncan Fife sofa. If you're a designer or you know anything about the design world, this is a very classic sofa uh, in the design world. So there was not enough room for a coffee table. So I just went with this slide in side table. I took the pillows that came from the bed in the bag. So first of all, let me just tell you this. When you're redecorating on a budget, start shopping in your house. Go from room to room, garage, attic, basement, and look around and see what you're not using. I was not using these little light fixtures here, so I ended up putting them in here. Gold branches. I was not using that headboard piece, which is really a screen. I had it just sitting in a corner in the living room. And so I decided to put it up here. And there was really no bed in here. So here's my Amazon purchases. I purchased this canopy bed on Amazon. But then once I put the two mattresses on, it made this little table over here look so small. So I may replace that, but I definitely am not getting rid of my box spring because those bars at the bottom of the bed can be hard. So this mirror came from a yard sale and it was gold. I painted it black and white. These graphic print drapes came Amazon, very inexpensive. The little rods I got from Ross. And I got this little table here that I call myself being creative and put guest room. I painted that just to give it a little flair. And uh, just some, a candle. And that lunch box back there when guests come, I fill it up with little treats and goodies so if they're hungry in the middle of the night, they can, they don't have to get angry. They can be hangry. <laughs> Whoa. So that's another way of saving money is by shopping little antique stores and yard sales. So let me tell you about the bedding. I had the white bedding, but of course the grands messed it up, so I had to get another bed set. So this is a secret too. If you mix two bed in a bags, which are usually not that expensive, then you can create your own look. I wanted to keep it really simple in here because guests don't tend to know how to put your pillows back. They don't make the bed the way you made it and then they feel some type of way because they know they messed up and then I just splashed it with this really cute and whimsical pillow of the zebra sitting on and uh set tea an antique sofa 
And then I have a love knot pillow here. So this piece here is also vintage. This bookcase has been in almost every room in this house because I refuse to get rid of it. It's from the 70s. It all goes together. So I put a, a ottoman here that I already had in the house. Put that there. Took accessories out of the room. I already had some of these pieces. So saved a lot of money there. This thing is so cool. Look what, look what it does. So if you open this up, you can actually have like a stand-up desk if you wanted to use this to work on your laptop, put your bills, or just things for your guests to have, little surprises. So I, I love this piece. It's interchangeable. You can, there's two empty drawers if your guests want to put things away. Um, haven't got to the closet yet because whoo, all of my long hanging items are in there. And so under $500, I was able to transform this room. Sorry about that. I was able for under $500, I was able to transform this room, make it cozy. I just found out that I'm having a house guest for about a month or four to six weeks so I wanted to recreate the space make it more cozy because before it was just kid friendly and so if you need help with a small budget and you need something quick and fast and you need a room makeover call your girl I just love doing quick fast because then we don't have to get in a long-term relationship. People normally don't have a large budget or they don't allocate a part of their budget to decorating. But they still want to do something quick. And here we have this little vanity set up. This drawer opens. I'm going to put extra beauty supplies in there. So... I'm excited for my guests to come and spend some time with me. And oh yeah, I did get this rug right here. So when they hit the floor and the bed is so high, you're going to hit the floor. <laughs> so, you know, hey, this is a cozy room. If you needed some place to stay, it's better than Airbnb. It's free. And that is... These little lights come on, a little black and white. Everything in here was supposed to be black and white, but once I added this sofa, isn't this cute? It has faces all the way around. I just put those flowers in there to give it, you know, a pop of color. So, And the pillows just came from the bed in the bag situation. And there you have it. Under $500 makeover. New bed, drapes, rugs. Fully rearranged.